America is once again getting ready for the midterms, the time of year when voters ask for a refund. <laughs> but before you get to election day, you have to make it through the primaries, which is when the voters decide which candidates they really hate and which ones they only kind of hate. And tomorrow, there's a major primary happening in Ohio, which everyone is watching, because you know what they say, as Ohio goes, so goes the nation. Yeah. <laughs> So America better pray Ohio doesn't switch to natural deodorant because, uh, <laughs> yeah, that shit doesn't work. If you try, it's just a rock. Yeah, now I stink and my armpits hurt. Anyway, <laughs> Ohio Republicans are battling it out for the right to represent the Buckeye State in the Senate. And when I say battling it out, I mean it because their debates have almost come to blows. And a GOP Senate debate in Ohio almost getting violent when candidate Josh Mandel rose from his seat to get in the face of Mike Gibbons. Two tours in Iraq, don't tell me I haven't worked. Back off, buddy, you're gonna die. You back off. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, never, that'll happen. Let's sit down. Never. Guess, watch. Guess, yeah. Watch. We'll square it away with the wrong dude. No, no, guys. you're dealing with the wrong guy. Oh, you watch what happens. You watch what happens. Yeah! Kiss him! Kiss him on the lips! Oh, is that, is that not what's happening? Sorry, I misread the situation. Seemed like there was a lot of sexual tension there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, man, look, I, I knew American politics were unpredictable, but I never thought the Republican Party would pick its leaders Wakanda style, you know? <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> it's the strength of the Black Panther. <laughs> In fact, maybe that's something they should add to the debates, right? Because I was watching this and I was like, yeah, you could have like a section where the politicians get to duke it out. <laughs> yeah, it'll get more voters engaged in politics and the candidates would be a lot more willing to compromise if they knew the other person could beat their ass, you know? <laughs> Just be like, I'm never raising taxes on the rich. Okay, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. <laughs> I see your point. Now, as it stands, the GOP race has five main candidates vying for the top spot, but there's one name everyone keeps talking about, J.D. Vance. He's a Yale graduate, a venture capitalist, and he became famous for writing the book turned horrible movie, Hillbilly Elegy. Right? Where he explained that white people become racist because they're poor. Yeah. Uh, that's why they say the N word with a hard R because they can't afford a vowel. But <laughs> what, makes, what makes JD Vance unique in this field of Republicans is all the trash that he's talked about their dear leader, Donald Jellyfish Trump. I'm a never Trump guy. I never liked him. In February of 2016, he wrote Trump's actual policy proposals range from immoral to absurd. Mr. Trump is unfit for our nation's highest office. Three months later, he wrote, Trump is cultural heroin. He makes some people feel better for a bit, but he cannot fix what ails them. And one day, they'll realize it. A former roommate of Mr. Vance sharing his text messages from 2016, in which Mr. Vance reportedly told people how he thought that Donald Trump was going to be, quote, America's Hitler. I can't stomach Trump. I think that he's noxious. Wow, I think Trump's noxious. I can only imagine that when Trump heard that, he was probably like, what does noxious mean? <laughs> J.D. Vance slammed Trump in every way possible. Every way possible. But in his defense, he did all of that before he realized that Trump was gonna win. Because you see, now that Trump has the GOP in the palm of his tiny hands, J.D. Vance <laughs> is now fully on board the Trump train. And I mean fully. And it's not just him. Basically, everyone in this race has spent the entire campaign trying to show that they were the Trumpiest. Trump fought back, and so have I. Trump and Gibbons are businessmen with a backbone. Trump saved our economy before. Gibbons knows how to do it again. There are pretenders in the Senate race. Jane Timken is the real Trump conservative. Josh Mandel, pro-God, pro-gun, pro-Trump. pro-God and pro-Trump. So he's saying those two are different things? Woo, this dude's candidacy is toast. <laughs> but this is some serious devotion. I'm the real Trump conservative. I can save the economy just like Trump. I once shook Trump's hand and I haven't washed it since. <laughs> My doctor said it's why I get sick so often. <laughs> so yeah, basically everyone spent this entire race trying to get the seal of approval from King Donald. Even the people who secretly don't think too highly of him, which we see time and time again, it's normal now, right? Whether it's J.D. Vance or Kevin McCarthy or countless other Republicans, the entire party right now is basically mean girls. They'll talk shit about Trump behind his back 
But then Tweet's face is so like, oh my God, Donald, you look so hot. Oh my God. I wish I had your fupa. Oh my God. <laughs> and guess what? Guess what? In the end, after months of competing to see who, who could stick their nose the furthest up Trump's ass, the Trump endorsement <laughs> went to none other than J.D. Vance. Although clearly Trump doesn't really care about these people as much as they care about him because listen to what Trump says when he tries to promote J.D. Vance. This happened in a speech yesterday. That's what they're waiting for. They're waiting for one race. You know, we've endorsed Dr. Oz. We've endorsed J.P., right? J.D. Mandel, and he's doing great. They're all doing good. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> that was weird. You could see even the, even the crowd was looking like, ah, oh, man. They look like parents watching their kid bombing in a spelling bee. They're just like, ah, oh, that's... <laughs> th those are your genes, yeah. Because you realize, not only did Trump mess up J.D. Vance, right, which is a tongue twister, he also combined his name with another candidate, Josh Mandel, <laughs> which is so shitty. I feel bad for J.D. Vance, because now he's gonna have to change his name <laughs> to J.P. J.D. Mandel. <laughs> yeah, because if you're a Republican, Trump is never wrong. At the GOP Starbucks, whatever name Trump calls, that's you. J -J J.D. J.P. Mandel. Yeah, that's me. I'll take it. <laughs> So that's the Republican Senate race in Ohio right now. And honestly, anything can happen, anything. In fact, there's even a chance that all of these MAGA candidates, they could split the vote, and then Matt Dolan, the one candidate in the race who doesn't think Joe Biden stole the election with the help of aliens and zombie Osama bin Laden, he could actually squeeze out a win. And so for all the voters out there who don't really like any of these candidates, and you're in Ohio, remember that you can still write in the name of the true underdog in this race. JP, JD, JC, <laughs> JG, J-Man, Mandel. I'm rooting for you, buddy.